Hey, Alex here. Welcome back. For this week's RPA video, I want to do like a part 2 of a video that I've uploaded last year, which is called How to Create a Simple Robot with Covex RPA Cognitive Document Automation. At that time, I'm just doing a WebEx tutorial, then I just convert that recording to MP4 and upload to YouTube. Surprisingly, it gets quite a number of views. For that video, I'm using like a pre-built project to do the transformation. But for today, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to create a customized capture project. And at the same time, serve as a video response to some of the claims that the solution is very complex and takes a lot of effort to do the configuration. The reason is simply because for those very complex requirements, you want the software to be power if powerful enough for you to do all those customization needs. But if you really want something straightforward using the built-in AI to capture the data information that you want, it can also do so, which is what I'm going to show you right now in this video. This is the purchase order document that I'll be using today. It has all your very typical PO information data like your appeal number, date, the table of items, and the various amount. Now let us look at the project builder. This is the RPA document transformation project builder that comes free together with the solution itself. So right now, um, this is a fresh new project that I've just created and just created a class over here with no other configuration. I have nothing over here. The first thing what you want to do is to open up the document that you want to do the transformation. So I will be clicking this open document set. I have already pointed to the correct uh, directory that I want. So I just click OK and the document is over here. It's the same that I just showed you. So for this one, um, first thing that you want to do is coming over here to the locators. You want to do a right click, add locator. And over here in this window, you want to select the trainable group locator. So selecting this, beside this, there's an icon, icon, just click that icon. And the next step you want to do is to list down the various fields, very standard kind of things that you need to do. So for this example, I'm just going to put down a few of them, the PO number, the date, um, the shipping cost, the, the tax amount, and lastly, the total amount. So very straightforward kind of fields that you want to extract out. I close this. Okay, then over here at this class fields, I want to add the various fields again. Okay, so for this one, this is going to be PO number. Let me just straight away add the five fields that I've uh, put in. Okay, then I just slowly rename all of them date, um, what's the next one, shipping, rename this to tax, and lastly will be the total amount. So the idea is actually mapping all these fields with the fields that you just created just now. So PO number will map with PO number, the date will map with PO, the date, shipping with shipping, tax with tax, and total amount, total amount. So far, we are just mapping the various fields with the variables that we created. So next, we come back to this document that we have uh, opened up. I want to do a right click, add to training set, then right click, add to training set of extraction, both. So it will open up this window, and here is the part where we actually um, select the fields from the document itself and relying on the AI to uh, recognize where is the different fields that you want. So for PO number, just drag it this way and it will highlight this part. Then it will straight away jump to the next one that you need to find inside the document. I just highlight the date also. Shipping, I will just highlight the shipping amount. Tax, I will just highlight the tax amount. And lastly, will be the final total amount. See, I just drag, highlight everything straight away is recognized by the AI and based on some of the uh, capability to recognize where are the fields. So I validate document, add to training set. 
and that's pretty much about it I do a save project okay um, then lastly just to verify whether it's correct everything is done properly I just do uh, classify then I do an extraction all right so all this information extracted out now I will go back to my RPA design studio so um, whatever here is basically what I have shown in my previous part one video okay so using uh, just simply creating a robot uh, put in the core desktop automation workflow then inside the desktop automation you just want to put in the document transformation step over here then you put in the uh, various parameters like the URL and don't forget for the custom project path to choose the correct project file name that you have put in so in my project builder is called demo so over here you must name it the same way so with that I'll just step over this step and show you guys what will be extracted out so it should be based on all these five views so my RPA after transformation it should be showing the same exact views that is being extracted alright so document transform I expand out this part looking at folder document views you can see it's the same five fields that is being uh, shown just now in that project builder expand out each field will give you the results that is being extracted so from this point RPA can just straight away you, I mean it's a very standard RPA way of doing you just extract this value to a variable then after that is up to you how you want to process this downstream so with that I hope that this video is useful to you and you managed to learn something today Lastly, I'd like to shout out to Jasper channel which I'm going to link it in the description below. If you'd like to see more video contents about document intelligence such as natural language processing, machine learning, sentiment analysis, be sure to check out his channel. So that's it from me for today. Bye and I'll see you in my next video.